Problem number 35. By hand, give the solution set of the following inequality in interval notation. Okay, so the inequality is 3x squared minus 19x minus 40, and it's less than 0. So step one in these problems is to make sure you have 0 on one side, which we have, and to factor the other side. So this should factor. I actually don't know how yet, so let's try to figure it out. So the way I usually factor these is just by guessing. Uh, I just try something, and if it works, good. If it doesn't work, uh, then we'll try something else. So we need two numbers that multiply to um, negative 40. So lots of numbers multiply to negative 40, right? 8 and 5. Um, let, let's try 8 and 5. So I'll put an 8 here and a 5 here, right? Because 8 times 5 is 40. Now one of them needs to be negative, and so the middle term is negative. So I'm thinking maybe put a negative here and a positive here. So let's see if that works. If it doesn't work, we'll, we'll try something else. So 3x times x is 3x squared. That part's easy. So uh, 5 times negative 8 is negative 40. So what we have to check is this middle term. So to check the middle term, what you do is you take the inside and the outside. So here we get 5x. And then here we get negative 24x. And when you add these, you get negative 19x. Hurrah! So it works. Okay, so this works. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it again. So this is parentheses 3x plus 5, and then x minus 8 greater than 0. All right, so now we're ready to go. We're ready to, to solve this inequality. So the next step is to set each piece equal to 0. So you have 3x plus 5 equal to 0. And then here you have x minus 8 equal to 0. And then you solve each of these for x. So here you subtract 5, subtract 5. So you get 3x equals negative 5. Then you divide by 3, divide by 3. So we get x equals negative 5 thirds. And here we add 8, plus 8, plus 8. So we get x equals 8. Okay, so we have two numbers. So next, you put these on a number line. So here's negative 5 thirds, and then here's 8. Okay, so you set each piece equal to 0, you get two answers, and you put them on a number line. All right, so here's what you're supposed to do next. So the next step is to pick test points and plug them into your original inequality. And if it's true, you shade wherever you pick the test point from. So for example, you would pick some number over here. So like negative 20, I'm just making a number up that's definitely there. And you would plug it into your original inequality. If it's true, you would shade there. You would shade in this area. If it's not true, you wouldn't shade. Then you would pick a number over here, like 0. You plug it into your inequality. If it's true, you shade in this general area between the negative 5 thirds and the 8. If it's not true, then you don't shade. Then you pick a number over here, like 10. You plug it into your inequality. And again, if it's true, you would shade over here. If it's not true, then you don't shade. All right, there is a shortcut, though. Watch this. Always just check 0. So that's the easiest number in the world to check. So you take 0 and you plug it into your original inequality. So you get 3 times 0 plus 5. Then here we get 0 minus 8. And we want to see if this is less than 0. That's the question. Is this less than 0? So here you end up with 5 times negative 8. And we want to see if that's less than 0. So that's negative 40 less than 0. Yes, that is true. That is indeed true. Yes only has 1s. So it is true. So you shade here. And the reason you shade here is because 0 is between these numbers. If it wasn't true, like let's say, let's say we had um, 2 less than 0. That would be false, right? So then what you would do in this case is you would shade over here and you would shade over here, right? You would shade in the other pieces. The pattern is always shade, no shade, shade, no shade, shade, no shade. So if you shade here, you don't shade in the other ones, okay? Uh, and if you don't shade there, you shade in the other ones. All right, so now you just have to decide if it's parentheses or brackets. So if you have a less than or a greater than, it's always parentheses. And if you have an equal to piece, it's brackets. So in this case, we have a less than, so it's parentheses. So parentheses, parentheses. And then from the picture, we get the answer. So negative 5 thirds, comma, 8. And that 
is the final answer. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful.